Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to study about relation between joint and conditional entropy. In the previous lecture, we had studied about the marginal joint and conditional entropy separately. And in this lecture, we are going to study about their relationships. So, here is the h of x comma y, which shows the joint entropy of the two independent event, that is x and y. So here is the first relation that is h of x comma y is equals to h of x over y plus h of y. Second relation shows that h of x comma y can also be equals to h of y over x plus h of x. Similarly, the third relation shows that h of x comma y is equals to h of x plus h of y. We will prove each of these relationship separately. So let's do it. So let's have a look at the first relationship that is h of x comma y equals to h of x over y plus h of y. Let's take the LHS part first. Taking LHS we know that The expression for all h of x comma y is equals to minus of summation i that ranges from 1 to n summation j that ranges from 1 to m p of x i comma y j log base 2 p of x i comma y j since we know that p of x i comma y j is also being equals to p of x i over y j in multiplication with p of y j. So substituting the value of p of x i over y j here. So we get the modified equation as h of x comma y that is being equals to minus of summation i equals to 1 to n summation j equals to 1 to m p of x i comma y j log base 2 p of x i comma y j in multiplication with p of y j. Since we know that log x y can also be rewritten as log x plus log y. So, if we apply this formula in this expression, then we get h of x comma y that is being equals to minus of summation i ranges from 1 to n, summation j ranges from 1 to m, p of x i comma y j. In place of this expression, we write the separating terms that is log base 2 p of x i over y j plus log base 2 p of y j in bracket. So this is our equation that we evaluated. Now if you open this bracket and separating the terms then h of x comma y will be equals to minus of summation i equals to 1 to n summation j equals to 1 to m p of x i comma y j log base 2 p of x i over y j minus summation 
i equals to 1 to n summation j equals to 1 to m p of xi comma yj in multiplication with this term that is log base 2 p of yj since we know that h of x over y is equals to minus of summation i equals to 1 to n j equals to 1 to m p of xi comma yj log base 2 p of xi over yj and also we know that p of yj is equals to summation i equals to 1 to n p of xi comma yj these two formulas i had already discussed in my previous lecture so you can watch it from there now if we compare this formula with this term then it is exactly similar to this term so this whole expression will be replaced with h of x over y similarly here is the summation i equals to 1 to n term and p of x i y j term so these two term will get replaced with the p of y j so the value of h of x comma y will be equals to in place of this whole expression we write h of x over y minus sin as it is and summation of j ranges from 1 to m and in place of this term and this summation we write p of yj so p of yj log base 2 p of yj so we also know that h of y is equals to minus of summation j ranges from 1 to m p of yj log base 2 p of yj so we can say that h of x comma y will be equals to h of x over y minus of h of y so this is all about the first relation between the joint and the conditional entropy now let's prove the second relationship between the joint and conditional entropy that is h of x comma y is equals to h of y over x plus h of x since we know that the value of h of x comma y is equals to h of x over y plus h of y so we give it as equation number one now replacing x and y with each other so on replacing x and y we get in place of x we will get y and in place of y we get x so it becomes h of y comma x that is being equals to h of y over x plus in place of h y we write h of x let us give it as equation number 2 since we know that the expression for h of x comma y that is being equals to h of y comma x 
this is our equation number 3 therefore from equation 2 and equation 3 we can say that h of x comma y will be equals to nothing but h of y over x plus h of x simply we will write the h of x comma y in place of h of y comma x in this equation and we will get this result so this is all about the second relationship between the joint as well as conditional entropy now let us have a look at the third relationship between the joint and conditional entropy that is h of x comma y equals to h of x plus h of y when x and y are statistically independent then in that scenario we can say that the joint entropy is given as h of x over y that is nothing but equals to h of x only this is our equation number one similarly the expression for h of y over x will be equals to h of y only and this is our equation number second since we know that h of x comma y is equal to h of x over y plus h of y and we know that h of x com over y is nothing but equal to h of x so from equation 1 we can say that h of x comma y in place of h of x over y we write h of x plus h of y as it is and this is how we prove our third relation between the joint and conditional entropy so this is all about the three relation between the joint and conditional entropy if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button Thank you and goodbye.